What do you mean I'm not the VIP the Magistrate's expecting? Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Please, follow me. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madam Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task, Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. 
Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Regarding that, my eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You, you share the same frequency with Madame Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist. The device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the City Hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinzhou? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Rover! It 
took you so long? What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Hmm. <laughs> it sure is. Shizia. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover! I'm afraid. Well, we've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinjo of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equals a legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Chizia. Do you have any plans, Rover? Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? So, what's so special about them? Candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls, but I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went on a trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 Shichuns in a day, and every Shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches, drawn on the outer ring of its surface, and its inner ring shows the four symbols each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the Teal Long represents the east. The White Tiger stands for the west. The Vermilion Bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the Black Tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how could it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is... 
a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjou. Oh right, Baja's still waiting for us at the Academy. I don't have candy like that. But I got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. Madam Magistrate said we should be nice to every guest. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. I just installed some apps for you. Please try looking for one that's called Utilities on the Terminal. <laughs> see? Just open the Utilities. Select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Wind, guide me. Wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry, it's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops, almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yin Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. You only need to send me a terminal message as you shout, then I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure, go do your thing. Don't worry, 
I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. The previous prototype almost met all our needs, but we're wondering if. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Jeez, did I startle you? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baiju should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the Sugar Pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right and you'll find me in the testing room.
This one looks like the early handiwork of someone I know. It's lightweight, and its design differs from that of the typical sundial. And it appears to be missing a part. See? There's a groove here. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Do you have any questions before we begin? Apart from the ancient legend Yang Yang mentioned earlier, I've never heard of anything like this. But if we look at it another way, we might finally be able to verify said legend once we figure out what really happened with your body. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless's frequency energy was consumed by your body leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. This is known as overclocking and is categorized into three levels based on severity. The excess resonance energy harms both the resonator and their surroundings. In extreme cases, the excess energy can even manifest as destructive tacit fields. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would.
Mm. As Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the Crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Don't worry. Ha! Appear before me. Rejuvenating snow. Ha! Commence healing. Ha! Hm. Appear before me. Ha! Tranquility. I stand ready. Ha! We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Huh. I'm back to the same spot again. And this... moon. What is happening? Are those... tacit discords? now. The connection was suddenly cut off. Rover, do you still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. It might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. 
not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. Greetings, Rover. I will escort you for the time being. I will be there for everyone as we head toward our- I see my way clear. I will be there for everyone. Let's reach- I see my way clear. I should try to- Why heck? I should- I see my way clear. I will be there for everyone as we head another day another heroic me
I will be there for everyone. I see my way clear. Why hesitate if you know what you want? I will be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. No need to ask him. I can help you with this. I just need some time to think it over. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? An amiable person, isn't he? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed, you just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll drop a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Zhang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. 
You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Division of labor is more efficient in getting things done. Besides, I would like to avoid stepping foot in Jiang Li's workshop ever again. The mere thought of that place brings me migraines. It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? Mortify's description, though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. This should be it. It's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Mr. Mortify, we found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf. But it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. 
Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament, including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the disks are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. Exactly. Languages may evolve, names may change, but time remains constant. It's an elegant system indeed. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. Located on the way shelf. Mao Cheng Si Wu Wei Grover, it's here. If I remember correctly, Genjo was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Genjo City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Genjo's founding. 
and the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I will. The sugar pearl. <sighs> Life has never been easy after the lament, but I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinzhou, and severing all communication with other cities, desperation ran high. Words are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they fail, we owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the Sugar Pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... Are you saying that the information contained in the Sugar Pearl doesn't directly point to your identity? Rover, about the Sugar Pearl. Zhenzhou was the most recent city established in Huanglong. The mountains of spirits running from north to south divide Huanglong in two. The capital and the five cities are located in inner Huanglong, while Zhenzhou is in outer Huanglong. The Battle of Gorges of Spirits was the catalyst to found Zhenzhou. Tacit discords were born in the Norfolk Barrens, and their invasion route was originally traceable. However, the emergence of the Crownless changed it. The Crownless is a tacit discord that embodies war itself. The hatred of the fallen warriors and the fear of the survivors are the ingredients for it. With the limited information available, some researchers have speculated its connection with the Thrinodian. When it comes to the Thrinodian, there is a lot to tell. For now, think of it this way. The Thrinodian is the most powerful tacit discord. The battle of the Thrinodian that happened long ago was to fend it off. According to the reports, the Crownless is very similar to the formidable tacit discord we encountered. Our sentinel, Jue, manifested before us in that battle. Rover, about the Sugar Pearl. We have the symbol Wei now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. Rover, about the Sugar Pearl. What do you think, Rover? I've only seen our Magistrate once at the appointment ceremony, so I can't comment on her personality, but her policies have proven effective and greatly benefited us since she took office. Some believe that the remarkably far-sighted and profound decisions were actually devised by Counselor Chang Li due to the young age of the Magistrate. Lady Chang Li is our Magistrate's advisor and former teacher. She once held a high position in the Central Secretariat, but she requested a transfer to Zhenzhou. I've also heard rumors painting her as a cunning manipulator rather than a loyal servant. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. Simply put, 
One token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... In other words, there are people who need to be misled, and they may obtain these tokens. It seems there may be hidden dangers lurking in Jinjo. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. I'm back! I'm back! Finally done with my patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha! Alright, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panqua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there, or be square. Time to hit the hay, obviously. Don't tell me you're planning on some nightly activities. Then you'll feel right at home with the Midnight Rangers. Or more like, the Midnight Danger. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality! All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall, and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. <laughs> 